formulas in the log tables on page 30, right? You need to know what F, P, and I, and T stand for. F stands for final amount. So we're on about compound interest, girls. Interest is, if you put money into a bank, when you come back in a year's time, there'll be a bit extra in it. The bank gave you interest, yeah? Okay, it also counts for loans. You know, uh, you borrow money from a bank and this time next year you loan them a bit more because they'll charge you interest. It's the same thing, okay? So F stands for the final amount. So F stands for the final amount. That's what's in the account right now, right? What's in the account right now. P stands for the principal, right? The principal is the amount of money you put in, right? Or the loan, the amount of the loan you took out, okay? So I'll say amount invested, amount invested or borrowed. So the amount invested or borrowed, right? Is that okay? Um, I is the interest rate, okay? So they normally give the interest rate as a percentage. You need to write it as a decimal or a fraction. Interest rate. So it's given as a percentage as a percentage write as a decimal. And when we come on to an example, we'll see what I mean by that. Okay, so biggest mistake people make is they put that in, if it was 5%, they put it in as 5. And 5% is 5 out of 100, so it's actually 0 0.05. Okay, as a decimal. And T is the time. Right, okay. So it could be in months if they give you the monthly interest rate. It could be in years if they give you the year, yearly interest rate. They have to match, okay. I don't think they won't match. They'll only not match in higher level. They'll be fine, right. But you can do it per month or you can do it for a year or per years or whatever, okay. Right, okay. So an example. Are we good? I'll take this away. So example one. So find the compound interest. For three years, sorry, I should have said on, find the compound interest on 2,800 for three years at 7.5% per, per annum. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same formula, it's just rearranged. The the first formula is if you're missing the final amount, and the second formula is if you're missing what you put in to start with. Okay, so it's kind of like a working backwards one, but we'll be concentrating on this for the first few goals, and then we'll have a look at that. Is that all right? Okay, it's the same formula, just rearranged. This is if you're looking for what's the final amount, what's in the account now. And this one, you use this format if you're looking for the principal, what you invested in the first place. Okay, right. For compound interest, girls, you can use the, the formula if there's no changes, right? In a minute, we're going to look at an example where there's going to be changes over the years. So for this one, we put in 2,800, 
We left it there for three years. We made no changes. We didn't take money out. We didn't put extra money in. So there's no changes. So I can just straightforward formula. Is that okay? So the final amount is what I'm looking for. Right, I'm actually looking for the interest, but I'm looking for how much is in the account now. Right, the principal times one plus I all to the power of T. So that's the formula. So the minute you see those two words, compound interest, off you go to page 30 and write down that formula. Okay. Right, so the final amount is what's in the account now. The principal is what I put in to start with. So that was 2,800. Is that okay? The interest rate, girls, is 7.5%. So 7.5% means 7.5 out of 100, doesn't it? So as a decimal, into the calculator with that and press S to D, it'll be 0 0.075. Okay, so percent means out of 100. So put it over 100 and S to D it and you'll get 0 0.075. Is that okay? All to the power of T. T is how many years it was in there for. It was in there for three years. You know per annum means per year, don't you? That word annum means year. Okay, just for any non-business people here. Into the calculator, it's money. So round it up to two place of decimals. So when you um, round that up, it'll be 3478.43. Is that okay? You're rounding, uh, sorry, you're rounding it to the two decimal places. Okay, so not necessarily rounding up. I should just say, I just said round, I should have said rounding it. You're rounding it to two decimal places. Why? Because it's money. Always round money to two decimal places, even if they don't tell you. Right? Okay, so 3, 4, 7, 8, and 43 cents. Now, back to the question. They said find the interest. I know what's in the account now. How do I find the interest? What have I to do? So I put in 2,800, right? And I looked at my account balance and this is how much I have now. So how much, how do I find the interest? Take away what you put in at the start, yeah? So I put in 2,800 at the start, right? So that means the interest when you do that is six, seven, eight and 43 cent. Okay, so that's what the interest is. So just be careful you answer the question, right? I got the final amount. They didn't ask me for the final amount. They asked me for the interest. By the way, you'll never find a bank account that's going to give you that much interest. I think interest rates on deposit accounts are somewhere about 0.1 or 0.01% as opposed to 7.5. Okay, this is really not, not happening. Right, is that okay? Any questions? Right, okay, so let's do ones where you have to work backwards, where you have to do it out one by one because there's uh, changes. Right, okay. Um, right, okay, so. Um, <sighs> right, okay. Example two, can I take it away? Example two. Um, I'm going to take it out of the book, so I'm going to put it up for you to write down, okay? So it's, um, it's page 27, question 5, okay? So I'm not writing it out, so you can either, if you're happy to just put page 27, question 5 in your example copy, or if you want to write it out, there it is, okay? I went too big. So question five. Can you read do that? Yeah. Okay.
Right? Are we good to go? Right. Okay. For these thumb guards, there's changes. Right? Okay. So, what do I mean there's changes? Is for the first year, the interest rate was 4%. And for the second, rate, second year, the interest rate was 5%. So, there's a change. So, that, that means you can't just do all the years all in one go. So, you have to do it one year at a time. Because year one is 4%, year two is 5%. Is that okay? So I'm doing year one, and then I'm doing the second year. Okay? Right. So year one, and I can use the formula for each year. Okay? So the final amount at the end of year one is equal to the principal at the start, plus one, one plus i, all to the power of t. So, sorry, zoom out. So for year one, the final amount is equal to, so what's in the account at the end of year one? So the principal was, we put in 4,600, right? The uh, year one, the interest rate was 4%. So that's four out of 100, so that's 0 0.04, okay? And then all to the power of one, right? Because it was in there for one year, right? Because I have to do one year at a time. So I can't say in there for two years because the interest rate for year two was different. Okay, so um, that would be someone might help me because yeah, it's, yeah, just say well, yeah. When you put that into the calculator, what do you get? It's Four seven eight four. Okay, that's what's in the account now. So you got four percent. Then you need to add it on. That's okay. all. Yeah. Is that okay? Right. Four seven eight four. That's how much is in the account now at the start of year two. Yes. I did one. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Step max on the board. Right. Okay. So I did do the T. Yeah. Good question. Right, year two. Now, year two, so basically I'm just doing one year again. It's year number two, but it's still one year. So the final amount at the end of year two is equal to what's in the account at the start of year two, which is 4784. Yeah? yeah? Then the interest rate for year two is now 5%. So 0 0.05. And again, it's in there for one year. It's year number two, but it's still only there for one year. So you're only getting the interest for one year. Into the calculator with that and round it up to two place of decimals and uh, 5023.2, right, and 20 cent. Is that all right? Just a question. It didn't ask me how much is in the account now. It asked me for the interest. So what's in the account now is 5023 and 20 cent, right? I put in 4,600 at the very start. So subtract that and the interest is equal to 42320. Are we good with that? Okay. So why didn't I do all the years all in one go? Because there was a change. The interest rate changed, so I, owned, I had to do it one year at a time. So you can still use the formula, but you're just using it for one year at a time. Is that all right? Um, no, because you got interest in year one, right? Okay, so you have to get the starting amount for year two. So you couldn't go straight to year two because you don't know what the starting amount is for year two. Is, is that all right? Yeah. So you have to do out all the years. So if there was five years, you'd have to do it out five times. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, why didn't, do you know the way it says five years in two years? Yeah. Why didn't we include the first year? We did because at the very start, I had 4,600. So if you want, you could say, oh, there's 184 interest there, right? And here you would subtract that and you'd say there's 216, 
39 euros and 20 cent interest there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and if you add them up, you'll still get 423. But I just went straight to, well, at the very start, I had 4,600. At the very end, I have 5202320 after two years. So they must have given me 423.20. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you could do it. The interest for the first year was 184. The interest for the second year, you'd have to subtract 4784 from that. And then you'd add the two bits. Okay, and you get the exact same answer. Okay. Right. Are we okay? I'll do another example, getting harder again. So example three. Right, and that's going to be on page uh, 28, number 10. Again, I'll stick it up there for a minute. If you want to read it or write it, whatever. So, okay. Right, so number 10, you can read it there. What sum of money invested for three years at 8% per annum compound interest would amount to a thousand and 7.77. 7. So basically, they're not they're not telling me what I put into the account. They're not, okay? They're not, they're telling me, so what I started with is missing, right? I know the final amount. I know what's in there now, right? I know the interest rate. I know the time, okay? So that's the second formula. You know the way I said the second formula was just the first one moved around, okay? Sorry, I moved that and that wasn't right, okay? Um, number 10, why did I go to number 10? 1007.77. 1007.77. Apologies. I was putting on the. Right. Are we good? Right. So I go straight to the um, answer. So basically, the principal is what I put in at the start. That's what I'm looking for, right? So I'm looking for what I put in at the start. I know the final amount is 1,007.77. I know the interest rate was, uh, what, where is it? It was 8%. Yeah, it's zoomed in. Right, so you know uh, the interest rate is 8%, which is 0 0.08. And you know the time, the time was three years. Okay, so that's the second formula in the book, right, which is the principal is equal to the final amount divided by 1 plus i all to the power of t. So it's the same formula, it's just rearranged, okay? and they helpfully rearranged it for you, okay? So when you're looking for what you put in at the start, this is the formula you use. So it's just principal is equal to 1,007.77 divided by 1.0, no, 1 plus 0.08 all to the power of 3 because it was three years. Is that okay? So there was no changes over the three years, so I can do it all in one go, and I'm using the this formula. Okay, someone might get me the principal there. 800, thank you, 800 euros.
Wait, how am I going to time wise? Five, ten minutes, yeah. Right, example four. Right, is going to be number uh, 13. So example four is page 28, number 14. Question 13, did I say 14? Mm -hmm. I meant 13, sorry. It's 13. So this is a loan, but the same formula is applied whether you're investing the money or borrowing the money, same thing. Same formula, same way of doing it, okay? A person borrows 15,000 for two years. Interest for the first year is charged at 12% per annum. The person repays 6,000 at the end of the first year. The amount owned at the end of the second year is 12,042. Find the rate of interest. Lots of changes, okay? So that means I have to do it out a year at a time. So there's two years, so I have to do them out separately because there's changes. Does everyone see there's changes? because they paid back money in the middle, right? Is that okay? So there's changes. So when there's changes, you need to do out a year at a time. Right, are we good? Yeah. Okay, so um, year one, right, okay. So year one, they borrowed 15,000. So principal is 15,000, right? Interest is 12% uh, per year. So interest is 12%. Make sure you write it as a decimal. So that's 12 over 100, which is 0.12. So you all know percent means out of 100. So if you're not sure, 12 over 100 into your calculator STD, right? Okay, um, the person repays, right? They pay repay 6,000 at the end of year one. Okay, so I'll deal with year two in a minute. Okay, so this is year one. So we have to see how much interest they're going to be charged. So P is equal to the final amount Time. Sorry, I keep doing that. Right, 1 plus i all to the power of t. Right, so I, I'm just doing one year. So the principal is, or sorry, that's the wrong way around, isn't it? Final amount is equal to the principal times that. So the final amount, how much do I owe now? Right, principal, what I borrowed at the start, 15,000. Right, okay, 1 plus 0.12 all to the power of 1 because I'm just doing the first year by itself okay so 12% of that would be 12 15 to 180 so yeah final amount is equal to I'd say 16,800 okay so that's how much you owe at the end of year 1 but they owe 16,800, but then they said at the end of the year, they paid back 6,000, didn't they? So they paid back 6,000, so they now only owe 10,800. 
Agreed? Okay, so that's the end of year one. Then year two. So year two, we're starting, they're owing 10,800. So the principal for year two is 10,800, right? The interest rate is, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. They want to know the rate of interest. I know the time is one year, because it's just year two, it's one year, right? Okay, so let's work out. Um, and I know the final amount, don't I? The final amount is uh, the, the, the 12,042. Move up there. Yeah, I'm moving up now. Okay. Right, so the final amount is 12,042. Right, okay. So what you need to do, right, they started off owing 10,800. They ended up owing 12,042. Any suggestions? What I do? Subtract to see how much interest they charge me. Right, so 12,042 take away 10,800. Uh, two, four, two, one, 1,242, right? That's how much interest. So that's the amount of interest they charge me. Now, I want to know what percentage that is, okay? That's what I'm looking for, the percent interest. So you always put the interest over the start of the year, the amount of the start of the year. So what will I put it over? 10,800, that's how much I owed at the start of the year. And I need to turn that into a percent, so I multiply by 100. Right, okay, and uh, will someone do that for me? Cause Eleven. 11.5%. Is that okay? So you calculate how much interest and then what percentage was that. And you always put it over the start of the year. Okay, it's always the percent of the start of the year. Okay, girls, all of these, they're, they're different every time. Okay, as in I could do 70 examples and you'd still get one you haven't seen before. Is that all right? So we'll just have to practice a few and hope for the best. So if I do... Um, Page 27 to 28, let's do questions 6 up to, and I don't know what's in them, so let's just do question 6 up as far as um, 15, and except number 10, and number 13, because I just did those as my examples. So 6 to 15, except 10 and 13, right? Is that okay? 